Buying a major home appliance is an important decision and a big purchase. It's important to know before you go. Make sure you visit www.bigboxappliancereviews.com. It's Factory and Mattress Kingdom, five-star rated, over 5,000 reviews. Guaranteed we beat Home Depot and Lowe's. The nation's largest discount appliance dealer, over 24 stores in three states. Visit us at appliancefactory.com. Hi everyone, this is Chef Mark and I'm at Appliance Factory and Mattress Kingdom in our flagship location in Thornton. And today we are talking refrigerators. What's the right refrigerator for you? There, well, there's a lot of choices. There's five main refrigerators. There's a traditional top mount. There's a bottom mount. There's the quad door. There's a side-by-side. -side, and there's a French door. What is the right refrigerator for you? Well, today we are gonna talk about the two main types of refrigerators, and that is the side-by-side -side and the French door refrigerator. Let's go. Here we go, I got one of each and they are ready to talk about. I got an LG side-by-side -side and a French door. We have a lot of different options in these, but let's just talk about these two particular units today. And the LG side-by-side, -side, I think some of the advantages to a side-by-side -side are certainly price. They tend to be less expensive, sometimes half as much as a French door refrigerator. And the reason for that is there's a lot less moving parts. There's less uh, seals, less doors, so definitely you can see it in the price point. Um, I think the main advantage of a side-by-side -side is the freezer. If you're the type of house that has a lot of frozen foods, um, this is definitely the way to go. Because it's stacked vertically, it's easier to load, it's easier to kind of keep inventory of what you have. You know, you've got a place for your ice cream, um, you know, which you gotta get to fast when you need ice cream. And then ice, uh, because the ice maker is in the freezer as opposed to being in the door of the refrigerator, you tend to get more ice consumption. So if you're a big ice family, this is the way to go. One of the downsides is you have a little less uh, flexibility when loading food into the refrigerator. So you can't put as things as wide as you can a French door. Um, but you know, I think some other things like this particular one has gallon storage in the door, which is really handy. And then if you love having kind of this door here for your eggs and butter, sometimes you don't see this in a French door. So think about how you load your groceries. If you have a side-by-side -side now and you love it, then I kind of recommend sticking with it. Um, if you're not sure, then maybe a French door is the way to go. So let's take a look at our French door. This particular model does not have ice and water in the door. Uh, one of the advantages of that is that you have a little bit more space inside the refrigerator. Now you can see how wide this is. So if I have a big display, or maybe I have a charcuterie display, I can set this in there. Uh, definitely have the ability to store really wide things. However, things that are really tall, like a gallon of milk, it might not fit here. So you have to rely on your doors for your taller items like gallons of milk, your orange juice, items like that. Um, this particular unit has two freezer drawers, which you know you might love or not, but the thing with freezer drawers is you tend to get your food piled up. So if you've got frozen veggies and ice cream and pizzas, you tend to end up with like this seven layer freezer mess for some people. So I think that French doors are better if you don't rely on frozen food as much. So maybe you uh, have a smaller family, you go to the grocery store more frequently, you're doing more fresh food, then I think the, uh, uh, the French door is the way to go. Either way, you're gonna end up with great refrigeration. New refrigerators, if your refrigerator is 20 years old and you're wondering why your food's not lasting that long, it may be because your refrigerator is not working optimally. You're not getting that food preservation that you really should have with a great refrigerator. Um, so think about that when you're shopping refrigerators. How do I load my refrigerator? And most importantly, how much do I rely on my ice machine and my freezer? So hopefully that helps crack the nut when it comes to the mystery of what kind of refrigerator is right for me. But I wonder, what I want you to do is swing by any of the 19 locations in Colorado with Appliance Factory Mattress Kingdom. Ask your sales expert. They'll talk you through the features and help you get into the right unit. This is Chef Mark with Appliance Factory. Make sure you like and subscribe. Online or locally, save at appliancefactory.com. Click the link to learn more.